Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at availability zones for Azure. And so uh, availability zones abbreviated to uh, short for AZ, and you'll hear me using that abbreviation a lot in this course, and you should learn to remember that as well, is a physical location made up of one or more data center. And so a data center is a secured building that contains hundreds of thousands of computers. And if you want a little visual, uh, here is uh, the inside of a data center. Um, and there's a technician working on a rack of servers and there's a dog uh, in the data center. Uh, you should definitely never have a dog in your data center. You'll probably hear me refer to availability, availability zones as a data center because it's the easiest way to think of it, but it actually can be more than one data center. Now, a region will generally contain three availability zones. I say generally here because there are cases where there are less than three, but there's actually very specific reasons as to having exactly three availability zones. Data centers within a region will be isolate from each other, so they'll be in different buildings, but they will be close enough to provide low latency. Uh, and that low latency would probably be in the sub milliseconds. I don't know what it is for Azure, but that's generally uh, how it would be designed because you want it to feel like you're, uh, it's on uh, the same network. Um, it's common practice to run workloads in at least three AZs, and that's why I, I was saying that earlier, that's important, to ensure services remain available in the case one or two data centers fail, fail, and this is called high availability, and we'll definitely cover this concept again in this course. Just to give you a bit of a visual, on the left-hand side, what we have is a region called US East 1, and we have multiple availability zones. Um, uh, Azure just labels them one, two, and three. And so when you go to launch a resource, if you look on the right-hand side, you choose your region. So we are choosing US e, uh, East US. Then we are saying we're going to use the availability zone, and then we choose which one we want to launch it into. So if we if we choose two, it's going to go into availability zone two. That doesn't mean we're going to launch two instances. It just means availability zone two. So there you go.